Hey guys, look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 20 video and today guys we're we'll be taking a look at the potential winter upgrades for La Liga. In the last video, um, a few days ago, I did take a look at the potential winter upgrades of the Premier League. You guys seem to like that video very much and you want me to cover all the five leagues which are going to do so. I could have given out like a second batch video for the Premier League but I thought I'd rather get out like all the five major European leagues first and if we have time to actually include extra players... Uh, in a different video than we will um, because obviously what we can expect for all the five major European leagues is about 23 or 24 different cards for each league to receive winter upgrades but if I was to sit here for this video or for the last video for the Premier League and have like 23 cards within the video and talk about all of them in in-depth detail which I like to do so the video would be about like over an hour long and I'd literally have no voice left so um, just like the Premier League one I've got 12 players here from the league that in my opinion are most likely to receive winter upgrades and all of that good stuff and also when can we expect the promo to start as well. It's currently February 9th and the Future Stars promo I do believe finishes next Friday on Feb 14th. Now for me, there are two dates in which the winter upgrades can start and that is either as soon as the Future Stars ends, so next Friday on Feb 14th or the following Friday on February 21st. I think it's going to be February 21st. I think EA are going to take a bit of a break uh, between this and like the next promo essentially, which means but it's only 12 days away uh, at like till, till February 21st, which actually still isn't that long. But anyway, let's get into the first play have full the potential La Liga winter upgrades. It's going to be Karim Benzema of Real Madrid. Of course, Real uh, are top of La Liga this season, and uh, I wouldn't mind seeing them win the title for a change, um, you know, instead of Barcelona or something like that. But uh, yeah, Benzema's had a fantastic season. You know, he really has turned his career around like the past 18 months or so. You know, since CR7's gone over to Juventus, uh, since Bale has gone like being like, you know, falling out with the president, falling out with the fans and stuff like that, Benzema has really stepped up to the mark and is doing fantastic. He's currently the second highest goal scorer in La Liga this season, obviously with their club top as well. Um, Luka Jovic, of course, joined from Eintracht Frankfurt for the upcoming season and has literally done nothing whatsoever. Obviously, he's had like injury problems and stuff like that, but Benzema has very much been the main man in an attacking perspective for Real and I think he deserves a winter upgrade you know I think he'll go up just to an 88 rated to have the one rating increase now the cards on the right is um his current highest rated card is his 89 rated team of the group stage cards now that should if he is to get a winter upgrade his team of the group stage card just like an inform or like a man of the match that card should be upgraded because it's a performance and cards so let's say for example you know um uh, any cards that were for Footmus, any cards of the screen promo, they were basically players that were just chosen at random by EA. So we can't really expect, for example, let's say Roberto Firmino, he should get a winter upgrade, but he does he does have a screen card as well. I don't think that card would be upgraded because they just it's just being given to. Him. But let's say, for example, his ATA is in form, that would be upgraded if that makes sense. And also this Benzema card should be upgraded because he did very well in the group stage of the Champions League. So if he is obviously to get this winter upgrade, his group stage card should, should go from an 89 to a 90. Hopefully. I have explained that well uh, and that 90 car will be absolutely amazing and the, the thing about Benzema is he needs pace um, apart from that like he's always an amazing card but um I think a winter upgrade is very much deserved for him. Could he maybe even go up by two ratings from an 87 to an 89? Who knows? But I've, I've, I've thought I'll kind of reserve it a little bit and just go with the one rating increase for Benzema. The next player is going to be Nabil Fekir of Real Betis. The, you know, he was actually once linked with a move to Liverpool, of course, a couple of seasons ago. I can't remember if he felt the medical of the deal just collapsed or whatever. I'm not too sure. But um, he's had a great first, like, half a season at, um, at Betis. I mean, Betis are, like, I think they're in the top 10. They, I think they got a chance of potentially getting into the Europa League again next season. Um, but he's been fantastic pretty much in all areas. And uh, I think he'll get the one racing increase from an 84 to an 85. I think he's obviously a card that's better used as a central card. Sadly, his inform that he does have in FIFA is a uh, current 86 inform is as a right mid. And uh, obviously, if he was to get those, that one to upgrade, his inform will go from an 86 to an 87. But uh, it wouldn't be position changed. It would just remain as a right mid. But 82 pace wouldn't be too bad. Obviously, the rest of his colleague kind of dribbling and passing wise and, and even shooting as well. Be very nice for a for FK. But I think a winter upgrade is very much deserved from him because uh, to come into La Liga, he's done a very, very good job indeed. The next player is going to be Saul of Atletico Madrid. Atletico are starting to kind of pick up a little bit of form now. They struggled uh, at times earlier on in the season, but they're starting to get a little bit better. Still not really winning by massive margins in games. I think they won 1 0 less uh, yesterday against Granada at home, I think it was. Um, but Saul's been very consistent. System for them this season. Obviously, he does have a foot headliner as well. And there's a lot of players from the Liga this year that do have foot headliner cards. And typically, if a player's got a foot headliner, it obviously means that they've done already very, very well in the season. So it's likely that any player in the game has got a foot headliner. 
It's not a guarantee that they, that they will receive a winter upgrade, but they stand a very good chance to get a winter upgrade, uh, in my personal opinion. Anyway, I think, again, you're going to go by a one rating increase from an 85 to an 86, and that foot headline will go from an 87 up to an 88 and would be absolutely ridiculous in terms of stats. But, um, Mark, um, yeah, but Saul, in my opinion... Uh, definitely would uh, definitely uh, deserves the winter upgrade. And the next card is going to be David Soria of Hatafe. Um, now, interestingly, Hatafe I think are actually fought for the moment in La Liga, and David Soria is the second highest goalkeeper in La Liga for us, um, not for assists, for clean sheets this season. At the top is um, is Oblak with eleven. I think Courtois is joint second with Soria on ten. And uh, you know, for David Soria to be up there with like amazing goalkeepers like Oblak and uh, like Thibaut Courtois, you know, is obviously a very, very good sign. He doesn't have any informs in FIFA, but I think, you know, based on how many clean sheets he's had this season, you know, Hatafe aren't, you know, they're not like a rich club. They're a club that um, have been able to kind of really, like, grind out results and have been, like, using players that have come up through the academy. They've been buying players very, very cleverly as well. Um, and David Soria has been a fantastic goalkeeper for them. I believe he was also with Hatafe last season when they nearly got into the Champions League. This year, um, obviously, last year, they just missed out by, like, a point or something like that. Hopefully, they can get back into Champions Champions League football for this season for like the first time maybe ever I can't remember but um, in my opinion a two racing increase is thoroughly deserved for David Soria and then they're going back into Real Madrid it's going to be Rafael Varane now Ramos could could get the upgrade potentially but I think Varane is a little bit more likely I see him as more of like a leader now than Varane and then Ramos at Real um, I think he's had a very good season so far and I've watched him you know even from like scoring from like set pieces and stuff like that he's been very very good at but his all-around defense has been amazing uh, Real do have the best uh, defensive record in La Liga this season they conceded only 13 goals um, which is very very impressive obviously they only lost one game as well and I can't remember who that was against but um, but Varane has been very much at the heart of the defense for them this season that's why I've gone with a two racing increase for him he does have an 88 rated headliner car which i don't know if that will go up to a 90 then i don't know if that's if that would be right or just get the one rating increase um i've just gone from going from an 88 to an 89 but he could go from an 88 to a 90 potentially um i'm not too sure on that one but i do think that Varane would get himself a winter good obviously he, you know he does have the foot headliner car which means he stands Obviously, a good chance to get one uh, to get the winter upgrade. And I mean, the 87 looks good. The 85 looks fine as well. But that 89 card would be expensive as hell. But what a card it would be for Raphael Varane. And then uh, getting into the next player is going to be Gerard Moreno, another player that does have a foot headliner card. Is a 71 rated base card will go up to an 83 rated, which is actually the rating that he did have uh, back in FIFA 19. He did actually struggle last season with Villarreal. He um, he came, I can't remember who he came from to join them last season, but his, his first season was very, very average. But this year, he's hit the ground running for them. You know, Villarreal really struggled last season. They were fighting relegation for large parts of last season. But this year, with Cazorla uh, going up to speed and, and doing very, very well, um, with a couple of the recruitments that they've made, um, they seem to be a much, much better team. And uh, they're having a, a solid season and will look to try and finish in the top 10 potentially this season in Moreno. And, um, you know, that 88 rated foot head on a card would actually be really, really cool to have. So uh, I think he's also scored. I can't remember how many goals he scored this season. I want to say about seven or eight goals, but don't quote me on that one. But he's had a good season. He's had obviously a few informs in FIFA as well. I think an inform, uh, not an inform. I think of, um, a winter upgrade could be very much coming his way. The next player, again from Real Betis, will be Canales. Uh, he's actually had like two or three informs as well as FIFA. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of based this one around informs. Sometimes EA do give winter upgrades based on. It's always a good. If you look at players on FIFA, so for example, Canales has had two informs. Based on that, EA will give him a winter upgrade. Trust me. I don't know how many assists or goals he's actually had this season, but I know for a fact if a player's got two informs already at this stage of FIFA, it's very likely that we'll get a winter upgrade. Just I know that from experience. Um, I think he'd only go by the one rating again, very, very similar to Fakir, but just imagine that 87 inform going to an 88 with amazing dribbling, you know, good shooting, very nice passing as well. Um, it would be an amazing card to have for sure. Uh, and then getting into the next one, it's going to be another defender with Kappa from Atletico Bilbao. Atletico have actually had a, uh, a very good season this year. They've got the second best defensive record this season, or is it the third best? I think it might be the third best. Uh, Real conceded 13, Atletico conceded 15, I believe, and I think Bilbao have conceded 18. 
Uh, I know they conceded less than Barcelona. Barcelona conceded 20. Uh, and I know Athletic Club haven't conceded that many. But um, again, he's been one of the main best defenders this season. He's had a very, very good year. I think um, he, he's got that foot head on the card as well, which is currently an 84. So I've gone with like the inform upgrade system on that one, going from an 84 to an 86, which would make that card amazing like that physicality the good dribbling the nice pass and the insane pace as well even like the card at an 81 like the upgraded card would actually still be pretty awesome you know again physicality and, and pace would be pretty awesome so when um, kappa i think very much in with a shout of potentially uh, getting himself a one to upgrade and also i think they're in the semi-finals as well for the copa del rey it's a team from the second division it's real sociedad Real. And Athletic Club, definitely Athletic Club, because I know that Inaki Williams got himself a um, a domestic man of the match. So, yeah, Kappa having a great season, and I think a winter upgrade could be coming his way. And then the next play, guys, is going to be uh, Reguet from Levante. Uh, this is a bit of an interesting one. He's actually the third highest goal scorer, I think, in the league of this season with 10 goals. Only Benzema and Messi have scored more goals than him uh, this season. Now, Levante, you know, when you think of them, obviously, they're a decent side, but they're always one of those sides that you never know if they're going to have, like, an amazing season or they're going to be fighting relegation. It could go either way for them, but they're having an okay season. I think they will be able to stay safe in La Liga. And obviously, certainly goals-wise, he's been amazing for them. Doesn't have any informs in FIFA, but I have gone with a two rating increase. Yes, he's a bit of a boring one, I know, but I think he deserves it because, you know, he's up there with some of the best players in the league for scoring goals this season so far. So, in my opinion, he does definitely deserve a winter upgrade. And then getting into the uh, the second to last uh, player for this video, it's going to be Parejo. Um genuinely he has an amazing car but he just lacks some pace that's his problem if he had like 20 extra pace he'd be a really usable card but i mean even bumping up that inform from an 88 to an 89 he's still only got 46 pace which is just <laughs> which is just so bad but he's got two informs in fifa uh, valencia having a good season obviously challenging for the champions league places once again and Parejo has been very consistent for them once again. I believe he's the captain as well of Valencia. Definitely one of the best midfielders uh, for them over a number of seasons as well. And I think um, based on obviously the fact he's had two informs, I think that means he stands in good stead to get himself a winter upgrade from an 86 to an 87. And the final player for this video, for me, he has got to get in there. It's got to be Santi Cazoli. He's having an amazing season with Villarreal. Um, he really like kind of bails them out on so many occasions. He's obviously a great penalty taker for them as well as free kick taker. Um, and it's amazing like how he's been able to again turn his career around he obviously had that bad injury when he was at Arsenal I believe and then he never really got back to like full fitness with them so I think I, don't, I can't remember if he, like, he, if he ran his contract down or whatever or he just left as soon as his contract ran out I'm not too sure uh, went back to Villarreal and has done amazing for them last season been able to keep them up in there in La Liga and then this season they're obviously having a very good year I've gone with a one rating increase from an 82 to an 83 and then that 86 info I'm going to an 87 he does also have an 86 footmas card that would not be upgraded because he's literally done nothing to get the 86 footmas card that was just given to him by random but because he's got the 86 info I think that would obviously, you know, that would, if it was to get the one to upgrade, that would be increased from an 86 to an 87, which actually looks an amazing card in terms of uh, passing and dribbling. So I believe I've got like 11 players there for this video, and uh, that is going to be the final one for it because I don't want these videos to go too long. It's already like over 13 minutes this video. Um, so I think it's like 11 or 12 or something like that in this video. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. There's no doubt that I have missed like a few other amazing players that have performed well so far in the league of this season. Uh, and obviously more players are going to receive upgrades than just like the 11 that I've given here. But uh, I think the 11 that I've picked are very, very good cards. And I think they all stand in very, very good stead to be able to get winter upgrades. And I think for the next video, I'm probably going to take a look at the Syria, I think, uh, whenever I can at some point next week. Um, and get that out to you guys as soon as I can. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys later.